I automated my X account with AI agents. Here's how I did it. Well, first off, API is a dumpster fire, but I'll get more into that in a minute. First thing I had to figure out was using Twitter or X's API. I quickly found out that there is an OAuth 1 and OAuth 2. Explaining this quickly, OAuth 2 is better and more secure, but it is a little harder since you need to have a website essentially to authenticate a callback and redirect URL. So, okay, let me create a local website to handle this. I created a local website, it passed the test, well, almost. However, I found out that it needed to be a secure website, meaning HTTPS. So to get around that, I used NG Rock because on the free tier, you get one secure static endpoint. All right, now it's good to go in the dashboard because it had valid URLs to give it. However, this is where I started to get a little more frustrated because the documentation for OAuth 2 is just not that good. Actually, in general, it's not that good, but especially for this. After I spent a few hours trying to figure out exactly how to get this done, I finally did it once. And then I realized I'd also have to save the token and then have a refresh token later on. And I, you know, I just realized that maybe this is too much and I don't need to do it this way. So. I decided to go back and try OAuth 1. And holy crap, this was way easier. They even have code examples from three years ago, which didn't quite work, but I fixed it and realized this is the way. Well, now it's time to do a test run with this code. Let's see if it actually posts to an account. Well, it did. It actually worked and posted a hello world example. While I was testing this, I did realize, however, that you only have so many requests per day that you are allowed. Of course, the documentation doesn't really tell you the limit. However, I figured out that it's estimated around 20 to 25 requests per day, and then you're kind of cut off at your limit and you have to wait. I'm also not paying anything on Twitter, so it could be that if I had a better membership that it would give me more requests, but I'm just not doing that. Now, I need to create the new account. I decided I'm gonna create a Chuck Norris joke account. So here's the new account, and now I need to create the workflow to make all of this happen. And I decided to use Crew AI to create all the agents that are needed to make this happen. I'm using web scraping tools, Google search tools, and I want them to find the best jokes ever, such as, then I also have an AI agent that is a ranker of those jokes, and it's gonna give me the best one. And then of course, I need an agent to actually prepare the tweet, or is it Zeet? No, actually, you know what? That sounds weird. I'm not saying that anymore. It's tweet. Then I needed to decide when the best time to post a tweet using ChatGPT, and it said this. Now with Crew AI, you can create a plot to show all the agents in what order they would work, and this is what it looks like. Now to make this automated, of course, I want to schedule all these tweets at the time that I got from ChatGPT, so I need to create a scheduler. At this point, I was kind of tired of coding, so I just asked Cursor to figure this out for me. Now, let's test this. Actually, wait, there's one more thing. I decided I wanted to run this in a Docker container. So I created a Docker file for this Crew.io application. Now we can finally run it. And this is the first example of a Chuck Norris tweet here. And now to wrap this up, I kind of wanted to share this with you in this format because this is kind of the process that I do whenever I'm doing something brand new that I'm not really sure, such as I've never used Twitter's API before. So I had to do some digging. And yes, I did use like ChatGPT to give me some information, but it wasn't all updated. And then, like I said, there's a difference between OAuth 1 and OAuth 2. Twitter's documentation kind of sucked to say the least. So I had to do kind of my own digging and as a developer, I kind of like that anyways. But this is kind of the process. I, at each kind of step, I tested it to make sure it worked. And then finally at the end, it did. Trying to use this API, uh, the hardest part is just getting that first tweet out there. Once you have that, then the rest of the process is fine. And I also chose Crew AI because it's simple and it's easy to create these AI agents to make all of this happen. All the steps in a row that need to happen to kind of form the tweet whether you search for it, whether it created its own, based on what it searched for, whatever it may be, I needed to know that and put it in a step-by-step -step order, and Crew AI is great for that. Thank you for watching. I have a school community that you can join down below in the description where we go deeper into AI agents, and I help you along with everybody else. We have coffee hours, we have live sessions, and it's going to be a great community to join to understand AI agents, automation, services, and everything you need to know. Here's some more videos to watch in the meantime. Until then, I'll see you next video.